back in May in Texas, a woman called Elizabeth Wolf attempted to drown and murder two little Palestinian babies, a six-year-old and a three-year-old in an apartment building. And this incident has sickened me to my very core, particularly as a father myself. Now, according to the reports, the Palestinian American family were by the pool. The mother was visibly Muslim, wearing modest clothing and apparently a hijab. Now this woman, Elizabeth Wolf, apparently walked up to the mother, asked the mother where she and her family were from, and then proceeded to jump into the swimming pool and to try to murder these two little babies, three and six. A three and a six year old in a swimming pool. She tried to force their heads under the water. Now apparently the boy was able to kind of fend off this, I don't want to say woman, this monster's attack, but the three-year-old, the little girl, was not able to fight this woman off. Now thankfully, thank God, bystanders were able to jump in and pull this wretched woman away from the babies. But I want you to picture this scene happening in the state of Texas. These two little babies, the three and the six-year-old, were attacked for no other reason than they are Palestinian and brown and were being punished for the crime of being Palestinian and brown by this vigilante white supremacist and that's what she is. Now she's been charged uh, with murder, Elizabeth uh, Wolf, aptly named because so often as we know when white supremacist, alleged white supremacist attacks happen, they are named as lone wolves. We don't know this woman's background, her religion, etc. If she was brown or black, her entire history uh, would have been publicized by now. She's been charged with murder, but apparently, get this, if the reports are true, she was also or is also released on bond. Let me say that again. According to some of the reports, Elizabeth Wolf has been released on bond in the state of Texas after attempting to murder these two precious little Palestinian babies. Now apparently again according to the reports as this woman was pulled off and as she was being arrested she was saying to the Palestinian mother I'm going to kill you, I'm going to kill your babies, I'm going to kill your entire family. The attacker reportedly shouted to a bystander woman who was calming the mother down tell her quote unquote tell her I will kill her and I will kill her whole family. I want you to picture the scene uh, where this would have happened because this unfortunately is the lived experience and reality in America for Muslims and black people and so many people suffering under the the yoke of white supremacy. White supremacy is described as the greatest single uh, domestic terror threat in the United States for very good reason and don't take my word for it these are the words of FBI director Christopher Ray and many other expert groups. These kids, thank God, are alive. They're traumatized, uh, probably for life. And the mother, God bless her, God only knows the trauma she had to endure. If this was a Muslim woman that attacked some precious little white babies in a swimming pool and tried to drown them, do you think we would be seeing more headlines and headlines presented in a different manner? Do you imagine the religion and race would be publicized and brandished all across the media if the shoe was on the other foot? I'll leave that as an open-ended question for you. And I'm gonna end this video because I don't wanna make it too long. I'll end this video on this. I blame the rise in Islamophobia and racist attacks and racism in America on everything these politicians are not doing to counter the threat of white supremacy. Now they can call it Islamophobia and it is that, but Islamophobia is a result of white supremacy. It's the same thing. Whenever you have a president, whether it's Joe Biden, whether it's Donald Trump, whoever, both of them with a history of racism, and you can check their track record, we know about Trump, but Biden's got this perception of somehow being not racist. He is racist. Uh, he authored the 94 crime bill. He's got a history of anti-black racist comments, and it's under his watch that the forces of hell have been unleashed and green lighted and supported against the Palestinians in Gaza and in the West Bank. This is the reality. So I blame this climate on all of these politicians, all of these so-called liberal media outlets failing to hold these people to account. Because we've been saying for years that white supremacy is the biggest threat 
in the United States and it's exported around the world by armed forces in wars of attrition where black and brown uh, people are decimated in countries all across the Middle East and North Africa and beyond. And now, as Malcolm X said, these chickens are coming home to roost and we are seeing a phenomenal rise of white supremacy in America. And these two precious little Palestinian babies nearly paid the ultimate price for these politicians' lack of action, their green lighting racism and the climate in the United States.